Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's tutorial, I'll talk about maintain customer in SQL accounting system. Now, let's go to SQL, go to customer module, click on maintain customer. Once you click into maintain customer, the first thing that you see is a listing of all your customer. Now, over here, you can see different columns. And this is the fastest way for you to know that whether your customer is still have any outstanding with you or not because there is a column called outstanding. So you can see that first row is empty because this is a searching row. For example, if you want to search for one customer and you cannot remember the full name. So basically what you need to do is click on the common name over here. Just type a simple word. Let's say you want to search for some a company called what security. Okay, you just type SEC so you're able to search for it. So let's say you have a missed call from your customer and you think that this is um, maybe your customer and you go to phone one eight seven four and get the customer. So meaning that every column is a searching criteria for you, and not only that. Example in outstanding, there is a lot of outstanding over here, and you just want to view those outstanding that is more than five thousand. So you can see there is a formula equal over here. Click on it. It's actually a filtering. So just select is greater than put in five thousand, then you get the result that you want. Not only that, again. You can see whenever you see this kind of column or grid in SQL accounting system, there is a one very special thing that you can directly export all this grid into Excel. So basically what you need to do is just right click on the column title, grid export, export to Excel. So let's say I want to put a desktop, we call it customer listing, save done so the customer listing already export from sql into your excel and it's nicely arranged okay and then let's say you want to search a customer using the email and you can see that there's no email column over here what you can do you can right click any column title Example, I right click the company category or I right click attention, right click it, and you can see something called field chooser. Okay, this is all the available field. So I want to drag out uh, email, just click on it, left click, do not release, drag, drop. You have your email, or you want to switch place, drag, drop. Okay, if you don't want, Let's say I, you don't want to use company category. Left click it, do not release, drag, drop, or right click it, remove this column. Okay, there's another way is you can see the column header and the most left there's a very small button with multiple lines. Click on it. Okay, you can just click on the field area, click area up here. Okay, so this is how to use the grid. Now, let's create a new customer. Click on new, put in new customer name. Let's say the customer is called Syntax Technologies. Okay, this is the description or the company name. And then you can have company name too. And in SQL accounting system, we do support uh, other language rather than just English. For example, you want to put in Chinese character for this company. Let's say this is sing. Example. Okay. So you have a Chinese character for the second company name. So you can also put in the address details, contact person, phone fax, email. Okay, try not to do anything with this B link because this is the default 
contact address, okay, which will appear in all your document. Let's say this customer have branches, so you can click on the plus sign over the branch. Let's say they have a um, pinning branch. So you can have the pinning branch contact. Or they do not have branch and maybe during Chinese New Year, you want to send hamper to the boss. So you want to have another uh, contact. It's called boss house. So you can have boss house. Now, what is so special about this branch is imagine you have few staff that contact the same customer but different contact person. So what they have is the contact person is inside your staff handphone. It's not inside the system. So now what you can do is you can combine all these contact into SQL accounting system. Maybe the during chase payment, you need to call a lady called Miss Alice. Okay. And the contact number. Okay. So that's why you will gather all the information for a specific customer into a centralized system in SQL accounting. So it's easier for you to manage. And later on, maybe um, over this customer, you want to categorize them. Okay. You can see for certain field in SQL, let's say customer category, area agent, and so on, there is a three dot button. So actually this is a shortcut for you to create the selection for this field. Example, under area, I have this field area. And now this customer is actually uh, at another place, maybe Satapa. Okay, so there's no selection for Satapa over here. What you can do is click on the three dot button next to the area. So it will bring you to the creation screen for that field, this maintain area. Click on new. So all the code in SQL is alphanumeric, meaning that I can put in wording and or number. So I just put Satapa. The description can be the same, so I put in start also, save it, so I can select area as set up. Okay, so of course, put in some address if you want to. Okay, so the same apply to maybe credit terms. Now you have 30 days, 45 days, 60 days. You want to have uh, 90 days, so there's no selections for 90 days. So just click on the three dot button again, new. 90 days so over here you put 90 so there's three selections uh, for terms due in number of days this normal due on a specific day of the month meaning that let's say every time you want to deal on the 15 the one month you issue the invoice okay so this is how you set it but normally no people will be using this due in the month end meaning that no matter which date you issue in this month let's say october so two months so it will be due at the last day after two months okay so just choose back number of days will do normally okay save it so you are able to select 90 days okay so um, credit control credit control is let's say you want to apply credit limit or overdue limit to your customer then you can make use of here let's say i said credit limit is thirty thousand. so it apply to which document let's say invoice so you are able to block this customer meaning that you're not able to issue invoice if the credit or outstanding reach thirty thousand. So it applies to all documents or just on invoice. QT stands for quotation, SO is sales order, DO is delivery order, IB stands for invoice, CS is cash sales, and DN is debit load. Okay, so this is credit limit. Overdue limit, because you already set the credit terms. Overdue limit, let's say you put in 10 cents. Okay, meaning that and I, let's say I remove the credit limit. Meaning that even though, okay, even though the customer only owe you 10 ringgit, okay, but it's actually more than 90 days, 
the system will still block you because you cannot have overdue at more than 10 cents. So credit limit and overdue limit is two different control for credit terms. Okay, credit limit is on the total amount. Overdue limit is on the number of days. Okay, so normally you can set both if you want to. So note, you can put in some important notes for this customer. Tax wise, you can set the exemption or tariff code for certain items over for this particular customer. Or if this customer already apply for exemptions, then you can put in the exemption number if there is any expiry date for the exemption number or the default tax, okay, the tax code, which we will talk about more on that later on, on uh, SST, okay. So um, one of the very useful features I would say is called attachment. For example, okay, over here you can see attachment. You have contract with this customer, you have a bank in slip or anything that related to this customer. Normally what you do is you put into different folder or subfolder. So when you want to search, you must memorize or remember where you put or your colleague will not know where you put the uh, details. So what you can do is actually you can create folder in your server or your PC. Then you click on this add button. You can actually look for the attachment example, this bank instead example. Okay, so save it. So next time when you want to look for a document related to this customer, just go to maintain customer in SQL. Look for the customer's call syntax. Open up the attachment. So you can have unlimited attachment. Now do bear in mind, we will not put this document into SQL. Okay, we actually create a link that link to that document. It make your life simple. Okay, so will not burden the system. You can so called attach. <coughs> excuse me. You can actually attach any type of document. It can be video, picture, document, and so on. Because it's just merely creating a link. Okay, so I would say this is very very useful, and you can have unlimited link again. So save it. So there you have your customer. And remember just now we have the company name. So we have the company name, second company name. So Chinese character is searchable also. Okay, so this is the whole idea of how to maintain a customer. And once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.